Anonymous Watch Guy here with an overview video. Quick wrist check. Wearing the Yunhan's Meister Pilot today. Awesome watch. Definitely a favorite in the collection. Today I have a watch in on loan. Well, it's on tour from the Random Rob Discord. Uh, and it is a C-Stern. Comes in a, one of the standard plastic snap C-Stern cases. And this is one of their uh, new newer models a skin diver-esque model it definitely looks like something as most sea sterns do they are clearly homage watches uh, to a much more expensive watch and this watch looks like the glassute original cq uh, so it looks like a geo cq obviously but sea stern calls this their skin diver a really nice looking watch. Great proportions on this one as well. 39 millimeter watch. You've got a 20 millimeter lug opening. I measured just over 46 millimeters, 46.2 to be precise from lug to lug. 12.7 uh, millimeters thick is what I came up with on this one. You do have a screw down crown that is signed with your C Stern S there giving you 200 meters water resistance. It is a bit of a smallish crown. I will say that it is definitely a little bit small. Uh, not hard to operate per se, but it is a little bit small. You do have a double domed sapphire crystal on this. Uh, looks like there might be, you can see a little bit of a blue tinge there at times. It looks like maybe it's got a little bit of anti-reflective treatment on it, uh, but a nice green dial on this one. Uh, this particular model is running the NH35. Um, the one currently on the Seastern website has a Seagull um, ST2130 movement in it. Uh, I would probably prefer this NH35 version, uh, but the one currently on Seastern has a Seagull movement, uh, and that version is coming in at $259 US dollars. I think at that price, you're definitely getting a little bit of value for money as well, considering the specs on this watch. Uh, very nicely finished watch, sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel insert, really nice ceramic bezel insert, 120 click unidirectional, and solid bezel action, no play. Sounds really good, no play, lines up very nicely. Uh, looks great. You've got what looks like applied Arabics at each one of your uh, at your evens and applied indices at your odds. Uh, your date window over there at the three o'clock position outlined in white. C stern printed on up there beneath the twelve o'clock position and two hundred meters automatic down there uh, above the six o'clock position. Uh, but a very nice looking watch, and of course you got that big arrow pointer minute hand like the CQ has, uh, but a nice looking watch, like the color, kind of a muted uh, green color. Uh, looks pretty good uh, as well. You do have nice finishing on here. Uh, 316L stainless steel brushed, uh, high polished bevel here as well. Uh, nicely finished watch for sub 300 US dollars. Uh, C-Stern definitely makes some quality pieces. Uh, when you have one in hand, you're like, yeah, it's an homage watch, clearly an homage watch, but man, do I want to spend the 10, 20, 30 times more for the watch it's trying to be when the homage is this good? Uh, some of these Chinese factory brands are really... Um, stepping up their game and they're making some high quality watches this is a really nicely finished watch uh, bracelet is okay maybe an oyster kind of style bracelet you do have a twin trigger deployant here uh c stern c stern signed buckle it is mill or, or clasp it is milled it does have a diverse extension i've got the extension pulled out uh, this watch has been sized it is not sized for me uh, with that extension pulled out, it will barely clasp on my wrist. I am not going to resize it uh, because I'm only going to have it for a couple days. But the bracelet is decent. You do have a display case back. You can see the NH35. Not the most beautiful movement in the world, but it is there and you can look at it. 
Uh, this bracelet reminds me maybe a little bit of a Traska bracelet, but not quite as good. And I can say that just because it is a little bit, it has a nice taper and it feels a little bit, um, I don't want to say dainty, <laughs> but smaller. It's a smaller bracelet. Traska bracelets are great. It does have a nice drape to it as well. But it reminds me a little bit of that. Not quite as good. Uh, obviously, it doesn't have the hardness coating on it as well. But uh, it is a pretty solid bracelet and a very nice watch overall uh, for one that comes in at this budget price point. And if you're interested in a GOCQ and you don't want to spend over 10 k for one, uh, why not spend about $250 US dollars for this one? I don't think you could go wrong if you did that. Uh, really nice looking watch. Let's see uh, the loom on the watch, and then we'll look at what we'll check it out on my seven and a half inch wrist. So the loom is pretty darn good again for the price point. Not only are all your uh, Arabics loomed, your indices, the handset glows nicely. You've got a fully loomed ceramic bezel insert, uh, and it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, the loom on this watch is solid. I don't know that it's maybe the longest lasting loom in the world. Uh, that would remain to be seen, uh, but it is glowing very nicely and it is done very well. And again, for the price point, uh, again, Seastern, they make a mighty fine watch uh, and this one is no exception. Here is the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. You can see it wears very nicely. Again, this watch is sized for someone with a much smaller wrist than me. It is very tight. Uh, but it is uh, a very comfortable feeling bracelet. I think it, if it were a little bit larger, again, I do have the links. I'm just not going to size it for me. There's your down the barrel shot. Great dimensions at 39 by 46. Uh, looks great on wrist. Love the colors. And if you want a Geo CQ but don't want to drop the cash, this Sea Stern may be for you. Uh, the Sea Stern Skin Diver Homage. I can't hold my phone. Uh, if you like the video, give me a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.